this is the uh, clock computer and it's dialing up right now to get the time that is connected at 300 BPS and I will leave you to uh, watch this uh, there you go I could just about read that on the screen on the camera uh, the OTM on the right there uh, indicates the on time mark what it does is over here it says 45 uh, that indicates a 45 millisecond delay so that way when the program sees the asterisk on the uh, OTM on time mark uh, it, it will actually receive it on time and everything will be legit now the reason this uh, machine actually needs this is because it is an XT class machine and has no um, real time clock on it but anyway that has just uh, gone ahead and reset it's currently loading now from a RAM drive it is loading an ASCII basic file uh, file saved as an ASCII text readable file instead of a compressed basic file so it does take a little longer but it comes up and uh, it does have a couple numbers to catch up but that's not quite what this video is about matter of fact I'm gonna switch over to uh, the other clock just for shits and giggles while we're here it goes back to DOS and uh, goes and writes this now it writes slowly but that's actually kinda part of the fun uh, because this is a Hercules graphics card for the monochrome and I have it running uh, SimCGA to simulate CGA even though this uses text mode it somehow interferes with it and causes it to draw everything slowly but like I said that's not quite what this video is about we had a fail we had a fail ladies and gentlemen this guy died we'll switch him over now this is actual CGA on a LCD monitor for what it's worth so it just comes right up and I guess that is kinda text mode-ish but anyways uh, I turned this thing on today and uh, it turned on the screen came up and as soon as it accessed the floppy drive the machine just totally turned off I said oh shit that's not good so I tried her again and it powered on and it did the same thing and I tried it again and it only powered up for just a moment and powered right down. When shit gets old, you end up with problems. This is from 19, if I remember correctly, 86. So, um, it's old. It is old. It's going to be 26 years old. Something like that. My math is right. But, anyways. The problem is not the machine, because, I mean, that's IBM quality, you know, I mean, that doesn't die. The problem is the power supply, and it's just hiding down here. You can see the green light on it over there. That's a big brick, and it puts out 15 volts at whatever amperage. But this machine was being a laptop, so to speak. It actually had a cord that would plug in, it had a strange smaller plug, and it would plug in there and it would go to a 12 volt DC cigarette lighter and I think with that cord it could either power the system but not charge the battery or if the system was off it would charge the battery I don't remember exactly but uh, it's in the IBM documentation somewhere regardless that indicated to me it likely would run on 12 volts so here we have the magical power supply to the rescue this is the same one that I use for those uh, LCD monitors and the plug being smaller which you can't even really see just barely fits in there It actually the whole plug fits in because this has a here he is here an odd barrel connector as you see it's kind of long for what you can make out of it but uh, it does fit it does work it's powered it's on it's going and I'm going to rig up a uh, new power supply for it one day and uh, we'll be all set. Uh, just a quick video on that and uh, keep chooching.